Our lives are made up of many chapters. You can't skip chapters when times get hard and you can't redo them when you make mistakes. That's just how life works. You won't enjoy every chapter and some chapters will make you cry for weeks. You'll read chapters that you don't want to read and wish it didn't have to be a part of your story. But in turn, there will be pages and pages of adventure and fun that make you smile. That make you cry with joy and happiness. Times that make you laugh out loud till your cheeks ache. When you find someone that fills your page with these emotions, that's when you know. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management and staff here at Le Petit Chateau, I'd like to welcome you here for the marriage of Alan and Maisie. Today, all of our closest family and friends and our amazing children join Alan and I as we close our separate stories, as we look ahead to the start of our next chapter. The joining of two novels bound into one by our love for one another, the history of our relationships starting as 12-year-old children in school, joking around during French, and fast forward to Christmas 2009 when Alan first contacted my friend and asked for my number, and the decade that followed. The birth of our children, buying our first home together and everything in between. These chapters will forever be written amongst our pages. Do you, Alan, take Maisie here present to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. Do you, Maisie, take Alan here present to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Maisie, I promise to care for you, to remain true to you and above all, to love and respect you always. Alan, I have chosen you to spend my life with. I promise to be loyal, loving and true to you for the rest of our lives together. Alan, amazing. Every day you live, always remember the feelings that you share for each other right here today. Always be concerned by each other's happiness. And from this will come security and strength. I ask all your family and friends here today, having witnessed this marriage ceremony and your commitments to each other, to join with me in wishing you both success and happiness in your future lives together. It therefore gives me great pleasure to say you are now united as husband and wife, and you, sir, are. For those of you that don't know our story, me and Maisie first met at school. I was one of the cool kids. <laughs> that's, that's not a joke, that one. And Maisie was the rebel smoking behind the bike sheds. Way too rebellious for an A-star student like myself to get involved in. <laughs> we randomly then went out on a date to the cinemas years later, and she hasn't been able to get rid of me since. The final part of this speech leads me in to my new beautiful wife Maisie. When you walked down the aisle today, I looked back and thought you looked amazing. The one thing I do love about you is your smile, and as soon as I saw it, I felt I had so happy. Maisie, I love you in so many ways for so many reasons, but you are definitely the one I can't live without. You're beautiful inside and out, and I cannot wait to spend many more happy years together, making many more memories.
Now that we near our 30s on our wedding day, we continue our story. A love story that I will hold dearly in my heart forever and a day. To the moon and stars and back again. Till death do us part.